Hello, chemistry students. Today we will begin the conversion of benzaldehyde to benzylic acid experiment. This experiment demonstrates multi-step synthesis of benzylic acid starting from benzaldehyde. In part A of this experiment, two molecules of benzaldehyde will be converted to benzoin using the catalyst thiamine hydrochloride. Let's get started. To begin, we will add approximately 0.3 grams of thiamine hydrochloride to a 25 milliliter Erlenmeyer flask. The mass of thiamine hydrochloride that we will be using is 0 0.3073 grams. After adding the thiamine hydrochloride to the Erlenmeyer flask, we will next dissolve the thiamine hydrochloride using 0 0.45 milliliters of deionized water. After the thiamine hydrochloride has dissolved, we will next add 3.0 milliliters of 95% ethanol and swirl the solution until it is homogeneous. After the solution is homogeneous, we will next add 0 0.9 milliliters of aqueous two molar sodium hydroxide solution to the Erlenmeyer flask and swirl until the bright yellow color fades to pale yellow. We will next stop for the flask and then determine the mass of the flask and the solution. The mass of the flask and the solution is 36.1613 grams. We will next add 0 0.9 milliliters of fresh benzaldehyde to the Erlenmeyer flask and swirl until the contents are homogeneous. We will then reweigh the flask plus the solution in order to determine an accurate weight of the benzaldehyde that was added to the flask. The mass of the flask, the solution, and the benzaldehyde is 37.1158 grams. We will now let the stoppered flask stand in a dark place for two days. This is what the contents of the flask looks like after two days. We will next place the flask with the crystals in an ice bath for five to 10 minutes. We will next collect the crude benzoin crystals by vacuum filtration using a Hirsch funnel. We will begin by placing a piece of filter paper inside the Hirsch funnel and turning on the vacuum. We will then moisten the filter paper with several drops of ice cold deionized water. We will next break up the crystals inside the flask using a spatula and transfer the crystals to the Hirsch funnel under vacuum filtration. We will wash the crystals with three one milliliter portions of ice cold deionized water and then allow the vacuum to pull air through the crystals for five additional minutes to help dry the crystals. As our crude benzoin crystals continue to dry, we will next pre-weigh a watch glass. The mass of the pre-weighed watch glass is 35.3672 grams. We will next transfer the crude benzoin to the pre-weighed watch glass and then dry for several minutes in an 80 degrees Celsius oven. The mass of the pre-weighed watch glass and the crude benzoin is 36.1080 grams. 
you will need to set aside a small portion of the crude benzoin in order to perform a melting point determination. I've transferred the crude benzoin to a 25 milliliter Erlenmeyer flask, and we will now perform a recrystallization of the crude benzoin using boiling hot 95% ethanol as the solvent. Use the ratio of 0.8 milliliters of 95% ethanol per every 0.1 grams of crude benzoin as an estimate of how much 95% ethanol you will need for the recrystallization. After the flask has cooled to room temperature, we will next complete the recrystallization by placing the flask in an ice water bath for five to 10 minutes. After the recrystallization is complete, we will next collect the purified benzoin crystals by vacuum filtration using a Hirsch funnel. As our purified benzoin continues to dry, we will next pre-weigh a watch glass. The mass of the pre-weighed watch glass is 35.4478 grams. We will next transfer the purified benzoin to the pre-weighed watch glass and then place it in an 80 degrees Celsius oven to dry for several minutes. After drying, the mass of the pre-weighed watch glass and the purified benzoin is 36.1359 grams. We will now perform a melting point determination of both the crude and the purified benzoin. Okay, students, you can now determine the percent yield, the melting point, and analyze the IR spectrum of benzoin. Make sure you save your purified benzoin product for part B, the preparation of benzyl of the multi-step reaction sequence experiment. This concludes part A of this experiment. Thank you for joining me for this laboratory.